Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Planet Coaster as we, uh, we're we out of Shriekism there, we're out of our Halloween season but uh, because I had a little time away we didn't get the Haunted House finished so uh, back to regular Planet Coaster videos but we are working on our Haunted House. You'll see a little bit on the left there with the castle archways and that. We actually built that on stream uh, for Halloween night actually and uh, if you don't know already I do stream over on Twitch three times a week, well four times a week, three days a week technically. We do Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday afternoons playing a little bit of this, but a little bit of that, a little bit of World of Warcraft, a little bit of other things and uh, sort of stretching our gaming muscles, moving a little bit away from sort of sims and tycoons that we play on the YouTube channel. But then Wednesday nights we do, of course, have our Planet Coaster stream uh, that has now migrated over to there. If you want to check that out, you can do it's twitch.com, uh, no sorry, it's twitch.tv, isn't it, slash geekism. You'll find me there with all the schedule and other bits and bobs. And we have some fun and we chat and play song, silly song requests and, and, and yeah, it's good fun. I'm really enjoying it. Anyway, enough about that. So that's what the archway is, if you're wondering. Uh, other than that, we're moving on to the rest of the haunted house. Now, I did say before, um, this is loosely based on the Alton Towers one. Uh, the ride isn't itself, though. This part isn't. I wanted this to be a little bit more budget, actually, than the uh, the one at Alton Towers. It's actually quite highly themed in some areas. I wanted this to be a little bit more sort of typical ghost train that's mostly sort of dark areas, and then they just uh, they have these little um, scenes, I guess, that you come into. They are either slightly animated with pre ropey animatronics, or what's usually more common is that uh, the sound effect and some flashing lights uh, take the uh, the place of animatronics because it's much cheaper to run. So you'll see here, using the uh, the trigger sequence, we're lighting up some different areas, and I wanted them to be really random as well. So here we've got a bit of a mummy, uh, Egyptian kind of area, and then the next up there's a witch with a... a glass ball, what's that called? Crystal ball. Um, and then we move on to our next area through a little archway here. Lots of bits to do still here. I started laying out the scenes. I'm going to have to go back and kind of fill in the gaps, uh, to be honest with you, but it's about half done. I would like to have got a little bit more done. I just, uh, as usual, just kind of ran out of time, to be honest with you. And I'm away for most of the weekend now. Uh, in the UK, it's uh, Guy Fawkes night, bonfire night. So I'm going down to see some family and friends and uh, having a night there. If you don't know uh, what Guy Fawkes night is or what bonfire night is, the 5th of November every year um, in the UK, we celebrate the the attempt uh, of a group of terrorists bombing the Houses of Parliament and they didn't get away with it. For some reason, Guy Fawkes was the one that we really sort of stuck with. He was just one of a, of a group, though. Um, and to celebrate it, we burn effigies of Guy Fawkes on large pyres and set off fireworks. It's a bit weird, really, but then... A lot of these sort of uh, traditional events are weird when you actually go back to what they're <laughs> what they're originally about. These days, it's just a, a chance for people to get together and set off some fireworks. Um, we don't really have a, a Thanksgiving or anything like that in the UK, so it gives us an excuse to sell uh, sell fireworks around this time of year. Um, so yeah, we go for a bonfire and usually have some things like uh, mulled cider and toffee apples and um, marshmallows on sticks and all that kind of stuff. And it's usually uh, quite nice. And it's you know I, I'm a big fan of bonfires and, and fireworks. To be honest with you, I like a good fireworks show. Before you ask, no, we're not going to be doing one in Planet Coaster. We did one of those a long time ago, and I will never touch that sequencer again. Jesus Christ, it was the longest month of my life. Uh, but we do have a fireworks show. Um, called, oh god, we had a really good name, what did we call it? Um, uh, Spectacularis, there we go. Oh, I remembered, that was in our old park, first park we did, uh, before we understood what uh, budget and scale was. Uh, but it was good, it turned out pretty well actually. I'll put a link in the corner there, you can you can watch it if you like. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty good, the wife helped me a lot with it, with the colours and timing and stuff, and there's some good bits of music, and yeah, overall I was pretty happy with it, but it took so long. Oh my god, so long. Sorry, I'm yawning. It's quite late, actually, so you can let me off my yawning tonight. It's midnight. I've been playing a lot of um, the World of Warcraft uh, Classic uh, today, <laughs> uh, which came out as part of the uh, virtual ticket for BlizzCon. And, uh, man, it's slow. Forget how slow original Warcraft was. But we digress. Here, you'll see that we're trying to start to get some of that jank in there. So the castle wall just ends, and it cuts to a black wall with some... Uh, graves up against it. Um, but then we've got a nice area there with some uh, uh, the ghouls and stuff. And then oh, this area, this is a little bit inspired by uh, Elton Towers. This. It has an area that, um, that's covered in spiders and it has a large spider that you go underneath at the end of it. And I'm not sure anymore. They recently changed the um, the music. I quite like the new music, but I don't know whether it still applies. In the in the last soundtrack, definitely, they used to, it used to be going spiders. 
spiders, oh, spiders, spiders, like that in the background, loads of different sort of scary voices saying it, and I really like that, and I'm going to try and replicate it uh, on the audio for this as well, because I do think uh, audio is a big part of haunted houses, and um, especially these uh, sort of slightly budget ones, cheap ghost trains don't often have a, a soundtrack, but um, these sort of mid-level ones often do, because it's quite a cheap way of sort of theming the space, really, so... Um, We'll probably get some sort of uh, audio and some sound effects that sort of kind of follows through the ride. I, I don't know how, it kind of depends on the workflow really. It might be too much work. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Uh, for what is really a, a dark ride, you know, at the end of the day we're going to put a big roof on it and move on to somewhere else, aren't we? So, uh, but we'll see. I've, uh, I've quite enjoyed it. I've, um, I wasn't a massive fan of doing dark rides, to be honest with you, which is one of the reasons why Geekism Studios stopped, because um, it was pretty much all dark rides. But I've quite enjoyed this because it, because the scale is much smaller uh, and the budget is much smaller, so you can get away with just like uh, just black walls around the place. And also, I've purposefully made it quite a short ride, and it is quite a short ride um, overall, but I, it's really because I just wanted it to be... Um, a, a simple, ex not a simple experience, but a fun experience for me to build. And I think if I was spending like two, three months in here, I'd be slightly going crazy. Next up, you'll see there, um, I kind of want to keep that a bit of a surprise. I haven't got footage of being made, uh, but it is going to be one of the uh, the ro rotation tunnels. I have no idea what they're called, uh, but they're these large tunnels that turn around, and while you're going in them, it makes you feel like you're tipping up. And uh, they're usually just sort of big poly uh, sort of polystyrene things that, that turn around. We can't really do that in the game with the pieces we've got, but we do have screens. So, oh, excuse me. I'm so tired. We spent ages with those screens uh, doing it, and it, it turns out pretty well. It's not amazing, it, um, but if you get it just right, if you do kind of, you know, make it full screen and, and, and ride the ride, it kind of feels like you're moving a little bit. It does it does actually give you that bit of that feeling that the uh, the car is moving and not, uh, not the... Uh, the tunnel itself so really happy with how that turned out uh, the only other thing i really want to get in this ride is one of those uh, the, the the lorry fake outs or the truck fake outs with the there's two big flashing lights and and you hear ha ha like that it's really random but i've seen lo loads of budget the um uh, haunted houses have it in there so we're gonna get one of those as well and a little set piece as we come out i want to do like a skeleton band uh, there's some awesome uh, bits on the workshop that we can use for that just to kind of have a little bit of light-hearted end uh, so there we go the the uh, the glamour shots are from last episode really because um you know we want to do we want to keep all the interior until it's finished thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it if you have you give us a like it really does help out the channel and if you're not already don't forget to subscribe any thoughts queries or suggestions you can pop them down in the comments if you fancy chat you can find me on twitter i'm at johnty sparrow if you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. I'd like to thank all of our patrons over at patreon.com slash geekism for their continued support. And uh, don't forget to check out the description for our affiliate links where you can support the channel and get some decent prices on games and other goodies. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.